man who was caught stealing sheets at a residence in Old Pastures, St. Andrew, has been charged by the Matilda Scarner Police. He is Devon Brown, age 55, of no fixed address. Reports are that about 9.30 p.m. on Sunday, the police were alerted to a home on Monterey Drive in Old Pastures, where Brown was seen packing sheets. He was accosted and a machete was taken from him. He was later charged with housebreaking with intent and is booked to appear in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Tuesday, February 8th. So the Zones of Special Operations Parade Gardens was declared by the Prime Minister yesterday, that's Sunday the 9th. Um, since the declarations, um, with the additional assets in this space, we have conducted several operations with a view of apprehended wanted persons in the space persons of interest um, that we have active investigations um, taking place on um, as also to seize firearms and ammunition to date um, we have not been able to um, make any make any arrests of those wanted persons or persons of interest or seize any firearms just to say that today though we did find two magazines um, still searching for the firearms um, the in just moving around the community there is a stark difference between the conduct and behavior of the citizens between last week and now um, last week when we were interacting with the citizens you could feel and the, the expression was that they were fearful fearful to come out um, fearful to be on the street sides yesterday we note that they were so comfortable that they were on the street playing several games of, of football and when you move on the different different corners we were seeing several persons just congregating and telling us thanks for the zozo um, we intend that with this with this imposition it was a part of our plan to increase the the dialogue with the citizens to walk shows and meetings and we are going to continue that to kind of build relationship um, because we know that with that we will make a serious dent into apprehending persons and picking up firearms um, we want to implore the citizens that to work with us to tell us what they know we are here for the long haul we'll be in the community working with them and dialoguing with, with them and we know that if we work together um, this zozo would be a tremendous success the latest statistics from Jamaica constabulary force have revealed that 37 murders were committed in the first week of 2022 across the island this represents a 32.1% increase year on year. As at the end of the first week in 2021, there were 28 murders. According to the JCF, from January 1st to the 8th, seven murders were committed in St. Catherine North, six in Westmoreland, four in Kingston Central, and three in St. James and St. Anne. Kingston Eastern, Kingston Western, St. Andrew Central, St. Catherine South, Manchester and St. Thomas account for two murders each, whereas St. Elizabeth and Hanover recorded one murder each. St. Andrew North, St. Andrew South, Trelawney, St. Mary, Clarendon and Portland, which round off the remaining police division, have reported two murders. The government on Sunday declared a zone of special operation in the Parade Garden section of Kingston Central as they seek to curb the rising tension and ongoing killing in the area. Before today, the murder statistic last posted on the JCF website showed that up to Christmas Day, 1,439 Jamaicans were killed last year. There is no official count of the total number of murders since then. However, media reports speculate that 1,463 murders were committed in 2021, an increase of 10% when compared to 2020. The JCF website is yet to post an official tally of murders for last year.